nagre-report ko ay principle of ethics in sports. Oo, uh, ang ethics in sports it contributes to a community of respect and trust between competitors and society and in society. The goal in sports man- sportsmanship is not simply to win but to pursue victory with honor by giving one's best efforts. So ang um, ethics in sports ay may four key virtues. Una ay fairness, integrity, responsibility, and respect. Unahin natin yung fairness. All athletes and coaches must follow established rules and guidelines of their respective sports. Teams that seek an unfair competitive advantage over their opponent create an uneven playing field which violates the integrity of the sports. Athletes and coaches are not discriminated against or excluded from participating in a sports based on their race, gender, or sexual orientation. Referees must apply the rules equally to both team and cannot show bias or personal interest in the outcome. Ang sinasabi dito sa fairness, kailangan maging pantay-pantay. In sa isang sports, meron tayong rules and regulation na kailangan sundin ng sundin ng rep, ng mga players at coaches. Tsaka para para na rin sa mga referee na hindi sila makatawag ng bad foul or tawagin na bias. Sa integrity naman, similar to fairness in that any athlete who seek to gain an advantage over his or her opponent by means of a skills that game itself was not designed to test demonstrates a lack of personal integrity and violates the integrity of the game. For example, when a player fakes being injured, fouled in the soccer, he or she are not acting this much, but like manner because of the game soccer is not designed to measure the athlete ability to plug. Faking is a way of intentionally deceiving an official into make bad call, which only hurts the credibility to officiating and ultimately undermines the integrity of the game. Sa integrity naman, ano, ito kailangan mo maging ganes. Siyempre, pagka hindi ka naging ganes, malilito yung referee. Ang sunod naman, responsibility. To be a sports, a sportsman like requires players and coaches to take responsibility for their performance as well as their action on the field. This includes their emotion. Many times at least and coaches will make excuses as to why they lost the game. Most popular excuses is to blame officiating. The honorable thing The honorable thing to do instead is to focus on the aspects of the game that you can control. Your performance and to question yourself about where to could have done better. Responsibility requires that players and coaches be up to date on the rules and reg- regulation governing their sports. Responsibility demands that players and coaches conduct themselves in an honorable way the field as well as, well as on it. Uh, sa responsibility naman responsibility ng coaches and players na alamin nila kung ano yung rules and regulation ng sports at every action na gawin nila responsibility nila kung ano kung anong consequences yung ma- maaring ibigay sa kanila uh, sunod naman ay respect all athletes should sh- should show respect for teammates, opponents, coaches, and officials. All coaches should show respect for their players and opponents and officials. All fans, especially parents, should show respect 
for other fans as well as both teams and official. Um, Siyempre sa laro, kailangan may respeto tayo sa kalaban natin. Hindi lang naman sa kalaban natin, sa mga fans din. Magaling man sila o hindi magaling, kailangan pa rin natin ipakita yung respeto natin sa kanila. Para mas maging maayos yung laro at hindi maging mainit yung laban. What are the principles of ethics? The five principles of ethics are usually considered to be truthfulness and confidentially autonomy in term consents of beneficence. What is the difference between ethics and moral? According to the understanding, ethics leans on towards decisions based on individual character and more subjective understanding and wrong. Why ethics in sports is important? Ethics is so important in the world of sports because it stands not only for a fair play but also for respectful and ethical behavior of all the parties engaged like athletes, referees, fans, while playing a game or competing. Nowadays in the world of sports, we can see how the rules of a fair game are being broken just in the pursuit of a victory. So, yun na nga po. Importante ang ethics especially sa world of sports because it contributes of respect and trust between competitors and in society. Sa panahon ngayon sa world of sports, makikita natin ang rules ng fair game ay nasisira na dahil sa kagustuhang manalo. The main ethical problems the world of sports facing performance enhancing drugs pretty simple here athletes take drugs to make their bodies to perform faster and better which leads to greater result in performance so ayun nga yung ibang atlet uminom sila ng gamot para mas mabilis ang performance ng body nila may mga nakilala ko before na nagte ng ng mga gamot na ginagamit nila para mas mas mag-boost daw yung body nila, mas mag- mas maging maganda yung performance nila sa dahil daw sa tinitake nila and ayun mas napansin ko lang mas naging confident sila pagdating sa laban. Yun nga lang kapag nagpa-medical ka na eh minsan disqualify ka or hindi ka na pwedeng tumuloy dahil sa illegal siya or ganun basta ganun. Gender discrimination. It's when girls and women are not allowed to play and do sports or when women are not equally paid in sports. For example, the case with US female football team, the winners of the Women World Cup 2019 in France. So, kapag ang girls and women ay hindi na alam maglaro ng sports at kapag hindi equal yung bayad sa girls tulad na lang sa US Women's National Soccer Team noong 2019 mas bababa kasi yung bayad na natanggap nila kaysa sa men's soccer kahit na napakalaking tagumpay na nun sa soccer field ng girls hindi equal yung bayad sa kanila so ayun kaysa naging gender discrimination fair play respecting the rules of sports you're playing as well as opponents for fostering sportsmanship in international competition in 1963 there was established the International Fair Play Committee so ito yung respect sa rules and sports na nilalaro natin at sa ating kalaban para may pakita natin yung sportsmanship sa international competition ginagawa nila yun noong 1963 yun na establish yun the International Fair Play Committee Responsibility for the performance Controlling your actions and emotions on the field Not blaming the officials in case of your own failure and loss So, ito yung pagkontrol ng actions natin at emotions natin Lalo na kung nasa field tayo Dapat hindi natin sinisisi ang officials kung matalo man tayo sa laban dahil responsibility natin kung manalo man tayo at matalo, dapat accept natin yung sarili natin. Fans, attitude and behavior during matches and competitions. 
So, eto, minsan kasi may mga fans na wild yung tipong walang pakilam sa ibang audience and may fans na nakakasakit yung mga nakikipag-away na sa kapwa fans nila. So, isa siyang main ethical problems din siya. And then, diversity for employment in the field regardless race, ethnicity, and gender. So, ito naman po yung dapat maging fair tayo sa employment at kung saan mang field. Tulad na lang ng race, ethnicity, and gender. Dito wala tayong pinipili. What role does ethics play in sports? To understand the role ethics plays in sports and competition, it is important to make a distinction between gamesmanship and sportsmanship. So, para mas maintindihan daw po natin yung role ng ethics kapag naglalaro tayo sa competition, ay importante ding alam natin yung pagkakaiba ng gamesmanship at ng sportsmanship. Next one is, gamesmanship is built on the principle that winning is everything. Athletes and coaches are encouraged to bend the rules wherever possible in order to gain a competitive advantage over an opponent and to pay less attention to the safety and welfare of the competition. So, and ang gamesmanship daw po ay binubuo ng principle that winning is everything and ang athletes and coaches naman ay in-encourage na baluktutin ang rules kung saan mas possible na mas magi, nagiging competitive ang advantage sa kalaban nito para hindi mapansin ng safety and welfare of the competition. Next one is some of the key tenets of gamesmanship are so ayan, si winning is everything and dirito na siya. So, next one is it's only cheating if you get caught. So, ayan magiging madaya ka lang daw sa dulo kung mahuhuli ka. And next one It is the referee's job to catch wrongdoing and the athletes and coaches have no inherent responsibility to follow the rules. So, ito naman yung mga referees, trabaho nilang mahuli ang mga nandadayat dahil lang mga athletes at coaches ay walang kakayang sundin ang patakaran. The next one is the... And always justify the means. So, ito naman yung mga katwiran parati. Laging, pa, yun yung pinakaparaan kasi nila para hindi sila mahuli. Lagi silang katwiran ng katwiran sa huli. Some examples of gamesmanship are faking a foul or injury. So, ito naman yung grabe kala mo napila yan or ano na nangyari. Yung palaw marte lang para foul yung kalaban. The next one is attempting to get a head start in a race. So, ito naman yung parang sa baseball. Sa base runners, yung may nag attempt na mag-steal ng base and more base. And pag nag-hit na, nag attempt to get start of their base bago ihagis ng pitcher ang kanyang pitch. Risky siya kapag binato na ng pitcher ang bola sa kani kanilang infielder. At kapag ang runner ay hindi nakabalik bago dumating ang bola sa kamay ng infielder, the runner may pick, pick off. So, the next one is... So, ayan. Tumbling with equipment such as corking a baseball bat in order to hit the ball farther. So, ito naman yung... Sinisiksik tulad ng cork sa baseball bat para mas mabot nila yung bola ng mas malayo. The next one is covert personal fouls such as grabbing a player underwater during a water polo match. So, ito naman yung may mga tagong personal foul tulad na lang ng player underwater habang nag-water nag polo match sila. So, the next one is inflicting pain on an opponent with the intention of knocking him or her out of the game like the Saints Bounty Scandal. Ito naman yung nagdudulot siya ng sakit sa kalaban na ang intention ay patumbahin sa laban tulad na lang ng Saints Bounty Scandals. Then, the next one is the use of performance enhancing drugs. 
So, eto naman, uminom sila ng gamot para mas madbilis daw yung performance nila. Mas gumanda din kahit na illegal kaya na disqualify ang ibang athlete dahil pag nagpa-medical, bumabagsak na sila. The next one is ta- taunting or intimidating an opponent. So, eto naman po yung tipong nananakot tayo sa kalaban para matakot. Ganon siya. Tapos, A coach lying about an athlete's grades in order to keep him or her eligible to play. So, ito naman, may mga coaches kasi nagsisinungaling, lalo na kung mababa at hindi ako masaka nakuha na dapat para makapaglaro ang student athlete. Kaya minsan nagagawa ng coach na magsisi- magsinungaling para ang maging karapat dapat maglaro ay yung player niya.